Yes, this shirt is literally glowing. <laughs> Put on some sunglasses, guys. So today I am trying Hooters Entrez. A long time ago, I tried their appetizers, and I think I liked them pretty much. I'm not sure. It was a long time ago. I don't know. But now it's meal time. I got six different meals. They did not have a big variety of stuff. It's mostly burgers and Philly cheesesteaks and chicken sandwiches and things like that, which all sounds delicious, but, you know, it's just... There's not a lot on the menu. I just worked out and I just happened to be in this bright orange workout shirt and I was like, oh my gosh, I look like a walking Hooters advertisement, not sponsored. But I honestly like I'm serving the Hooter vibe. Now I know that I'm Hooters like exact demographic that they're aiming for. Like I am the typical Hooters customer. So if I, <laughs> if I don't like this stuff, no one will. I'm the straightest straight man there ever was. Oh, beer, oh, football dirt. Let's talk about what I got. So, um, I got the more than a mouthful burger. Okay. The grilled cheese platter, the Texas melt, buffalo chicken sandwich, a Philly cheesesteak, and a Baja burger. Now, the sides are fries, cheese fries, coleslaw, and baked beans. I got all four. So, it's going to be a very fun taste test. Um, subscribe if you are new here. I do full menu taste tests. I taste test brand new fast food items. I keep you updated on that. So, subscribe guys. Okay, let's open up these big fussy bags. Okay, so everything's in these very environmentally friendly, um, styrofoam boxes. Okay. So this, I think, is the, I think just the big mouthful burger. It looks pretty plain. I think it's just their main burger, right? It has tomato, onion, lettuce, fries with cheese sauce. If you know me, you know that cheese fries is just like one of my main food groups. I love them so much. So here's a nice close-up. The patty smells very nice, very charbroiled. Is that a word? Char, charbroiled? Broiled char? And the curly fries look very pretty. They gave me some moist wipes. Love that. Now this is the grilled cheese platter. So <laughs> this is Pathetic. I'm so sorry. This is so sad. Like the price, I think it was like eight bucks or seven bucks. I'm not sure. This is the size, guys. That is like a Wonder Bread size grilled cheese. What is that? And then we have a little side of baked beans. Wow. Okay. Um, we will talk about prices as we taste test everything, as always. And then we have, oh, the Philly cheese zaddy. Now this is huge. Wow. Amazing size. Very heavy. It looks like it has tons of beef. Um, I did ask for no mushrooms, and I don't see any, so we love that for me. Um, they gave me cheese sauce again with the fries. I only got it for one of them, so I got some free cheese sauce. Love that. Okay, this is, I think, the Baja Burger. It has a lot of stuff on it. I think, like, guacamole, pico de gallo. It looks pretty good. Now, this side of coleslaw is pretty pathetic. Again, like, these are the sides. So with these pricey ass meals, like, this is smaller than a side from Wendy's. And Wendy's already has pretty small sides. So that is pretty frustrating. Oh yes, and the fries costed extra. So that's why I did not get fries with like all the meals because the baked beans and coleslaw were no extra price. Um, so this is the buffalo chicken sandwich. It has a tiny little piece of onion. <laughs> it's really tiny. <laughs> we have tomato lettuce, a beautiful piece of chicken. Um, I got their hot buffalo sauce and another side of free coleslaw. Lord, last but not least, we have, this must be the Western melt thing. Yes! So this is a burger, but it's on like Texas toast, I think. And it has a bunch of toppings like bacon, cheese. I see um, sauteed onions. Get a nice close up of that. Let me see it. It's gorgeous, okay. Wow, so that's all the meals. Um, we are really gonna get into the prices on these because this is kind of crazy. The side portions are just very odd to me. Um, so I ordered these on Uber Eats now. I know that Uber Eats can kind of hike up the prices sometimes, so I'm gonna go to the Hooters website and see if they have the actual prices there. First things first, let's get my thumbnail. Which meal looks the absolute best? Um, I have to say, I think the Philly cheesesteak, to be honest, it looks very glorious. Okay, 
My legs, ooh. I biked for like 30 minutes today and not on an actual bike because I don't know how to ride a bike, fun fact. I never learned. I fell once when I was like five and I was like never again. Um, I was on like an exercise bike and I burned a lot of those calories, y'all, which prepared me for this moment to eat them all again. Okay, let's first try the classic burger. So this is called the Big Mouth Burger. Wait, there's a lot of burgers on here that weren't on Uber Eats. Like there's a bacon mac and cheese burger. Oh my God, that looks amazing. I don't see anything on the actual menu called a Big Mouth Burger. I think they just gave me a build your own burger which was $10.99. If you want fries, it's $1.59 more, which I think is ridiculous. Like, fries should come free with an $11 burger. This is not Cheesecake Factory. This is not Brio. This is Hooters. I am gonna add ketchup, to be fair, because I just know this is gonna be dry as hell without any condiments. Let's try the build your own burger. Mm. I just noticed it's not even a cheeseburger. It's a hamburger, okay. Um. You know, I'm not mad at it. Oh. The burger's a bit chewy. Like, I have a blob of something here. It's like cartilage. Typically, I've never had a burger that has like a blob of something chewy in it. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. <laughs> Other than that, um, it tastes like a typical I would say backyard burger, like your friend's dad is having a barbecue and he made some really plain burgers. It's not bad, it's not great, it's just a typical plain piece of burger meat with some simple condiments on a simple bun with a blob of chewiness. If I'm craving a burger, this gets the job done. Does it slay me? No. So I'm gonna give the burger, I think, a five out of 10. Not bad, not good. Now let's try the fries, plus of course, the cheese fries. Oh yeah, there's something in there. What is that? You guys see that little blobita? What is that? A bubble? No, that's something. Hold on, well this is a fun taste test. Um, it's a piece of, what is that? Maybe like potato skin? Let's take potato skin. I'm still gonna eat it. I don't know about you. Let's first try the fries by themselves. Definitely need salt, kind of desperately. A little crunchy, that's nice. Once again. Not bad, not good. Gets the job done. It's a french fry. Um, they definitely don't have like an old oil flavor or anything like that. They taste good, they just could be better. So I'm gonna give the fries by themselves a six out of 10. Let's try the fries with the cheese sauce now. Oh yeah, ooh. Let's get a close up on that. Mmm, oh yeah. Okay, I get it. Mm. So, once again, I've had better cheese fries. The best ever are Shake Shacks. Legit, try it. Um, the cheese sauce tastes exactly like movie theater nacho cheese sauce, which I love. Processed, trashy, but it has that nice nacho cheese tang, which is everything, but of course, it's not amazing at all. So I'm gonna give the cheese fries together, like the cheese with the fries, a six out of 10. Next up, let's try the grilled cheese sandwich. So this is called adult grilled cheese, but on Uber Eats, it was called the grilled cheese platter. Now, when I think platter, I think 
a lot of food. And this is definitely not a platter. So this has two types of cheeses, but it doesn't say what they are. I see a white cheese, possibly provolone, and a yellow cheese, probably American. It was $7.49 for this. Should have been five bucks, or four even. Let's try it. That tastes like an at-home grilled cheese, but not even like a good one. It tastes like they chose the, the most least flavorful cheeses, put it on some basic ass bread, and grilled it in like off-brand butter. I don't like it whatsoever, it has no flavor. I have nothing else to say, it is trash, not only in size, but also in flavor. It tastes like nothing, it tastes like literally nothing, just like old trashy butter. I am gonna give this grilled cheese sandwich a two out of 10. Let's taste the beans. I used to like baked beans back in the day. When I lived in Kenya, there was not a lot of um, like food options that I liked because I was 11 and I did not have an open palate to like other cuisines. And so I would have a lot of baked beans because they had a lot of canned baked beans in the stores. So I would like live on them. Let's try it. That was a weird bite, I'm sorry. <laughs> Tastes like canned baked beans. It's like straight out the can. There is no difference. Tastes like, um, like bushes. <laughs> it really does. Tastes like bushes baked beans, y'all. I'm gonna give the bushes baked beans a four out of 10. Like they're not bad, like <laughs> they're baked beans, but okay. So this whole meal is not it for me at all. Um, next up, let's try another burger. Let's do this Baja Blast. Baja Blast! Okay, so the Baja Burger was $11.99, not including fries, so I got coleslaw, let's try that. It is topped with melted pepper jack, guacamole, and pico de gallo. Sounds simple, but I do appreciate that there is a lot of guacamole on it. Let's try this Baja Blast. Wow. You know, it's once again, not bad. None of this food is like totally disgusting. It just tastes like a super plain burger patty with guacamole. There's really nothing else to say. Like the guacamole tastes um, definitely store bought. The pico does have a nice crunch, but it kind of blends into the guacamole. So it just feels like one entity. Pretty plain, if you really love guacamole and you want that as the main flavor on your burger, this is for you. I personally don't think that burgers go that well with guacamole. Um, I'm gonna give the burger, um, I'm gonna give it a four out of 10. I like the plain burger a lot more just cause at least it just tastes like a classic burger. This just tastes like a mess. Now let's try the coleslaw. I have never been a big coleslaw stare, but it was free and the fries weren't. Let's try it. Mmm. Listen, in my older age, I think I'm starting to like coleslaw more. There is like an aftertaste of like mustiness. <laughs> the cabbage feels like it's been sweating, you know, but I don't hate it besides the aftertaste. The actual flavor tastes really nice. It's the perfect amount of sweet and sour. The cabbage is very crunchy. I'm not mad at this, guys. I'm gonna give this coleslaw a nice seven out of 10 for coleslaw. Next up, let's try the buffalo chicken sandwich. The buffalo chicken sandwich is $12.09, and it says, everything you love about our wings, but in a sandwich. Hand-breaded chicken breast tossed in your favorite wing sauce, topped with lettuce and tomato served on a toasted brioche bun. Okay, I did choose the hot sauce. Um, you can choose out of all of their sauces, which is a very nice feature. I wish the sandwich had like ranch or something. It doesn't really have any sauces besides the actual hot sauce. Let's see how it tastes. Mm, let me taste the chicken by itself. Mm. 
That chicken. Mmm. Yeah. Wow. That's very nice. I think Hooters is good at chicken. So the chicken is a tiny bit overcooked, but it's totally fine. It still tastes great. Um, the sauce does not taste like hot sauce whatsoever. It tastes very medium, but it does have a nice light flavor and it still kind of shines. The chicken does taste better by itself, but it still tastes pretty good in the sandwich with the toppings. The tomato adds a nice freshness. It's a bit thick cut, but that's fine. Um, the bread is a bit dense, but it doesn't really matter. This is a pretty tasty sandwich. I'm not mad at it. Ranch would have helped a lot, I think, but overall, it tastes pretty good and the chicken is great. So I'm gonna give this one a nice 7.5 out of 10. I think that's the best score so far today, right? We have two items left, guys. We have the Western something burger and the Philly cheesesteak. Let's save the Philly cheesesteak for last. Let's do the Western burger. Once again, it has baked beans. I'm gonna save these. This is actually called the Texas Mount and it is $11.99. Grilled eight ounce burger with barbecue sauce, caramelized onions, bacon, and cheddar cheese served on Texas toast. Sounds pretty simple, but it sounds like it could be very good. Love the fact that it's on Texas toast. That's very fun. A lot of bacon, a lot of cheese, a lot of fun things happening. Let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. The bacon. Mmm. Yes, it is. The bacon has a lot of flavor. It's very salty. The cheese is also very salty and adds a lot of flavor. The um, onions taste great. The Texas toast, let me taste it by itself. Tastes like bread, but that's okay. It does have a nice grilled toast flavor. Um, the toppings really help elevate the burger and the barbecue sauce helps a lot too. It no longer tastes like a backyard burger, it tastes like a restaurant burger. Not amazing, but it does, which is great. Mmm, mmm. The barbecue sauce is very smoky, but not too smoky. This just overall works. I really like this. It is by far the best burger. I'm gonna give it a nice 8.5 out of 10. Very good. I'm impressed. Hooters, more of this. Last but not least, we have the Philly cheesesteak. First thing is first, we have more cheese fries. Let's grab one of those. Oh, oh. Yeah, still kind of anticlimactic, but it's okay. <laughs> I'll still eat it. Love cheese fries. Mm -hmm. Let's focus on Miss Philly Cheese. The Philly Cheesesteak Sandwich was $11.65. Of course, the fries were extra. It's supposed to come with a pickle, which I don't see it. That's okay. I do love me a pickle, though. It has shaved steak sauteed with onions, peppers, and mushrooms. I asked for no mushrooms. With provolone cheese served on a toasted hoagie bun. Okay. Very heavy. Get these fries off. Ooh, very big. This is by far their biggest item for sure. Let's try it. Mmm. 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 just me by itself. Mmm. So the meat's delicious. Tastes like high quality, super thin steak. Mmm! The cheese adds a nice saltiness. Tastes great. Now, overall, it's a bit dry. I think if it also had like a cheese sauce on it, it would help a lot. And also, the hoagie itself, like the bread, is very dry. Like, it's so dense and dry. Not a fan of that. But the meat itself is genuinely delicious. I love it, love it, love it. I'm gonna give the Philly cheesesteak a nice 6.5. It's good. Let's try the meat with the cheese sauce. Good idea to me. Mm! Oh. Hooters, put this on this. Mm. 
So, I think overall, my least favorite items were the grilled cheese, <laughs> the guacamole burger, and my favorites were the chicken sandwich and the Western burger. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments below, what is your favorite thing to eat at Hooters? Um, and if you haven't been there, which item looked the best to you? Not a great taste test, but some are great, some are meh. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel for more taste tests and food reviews. I love you guys so much. I'll see you next video. Oh, oh, oh.